morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, honoring today the patron saint of all parish priests, St. John Marie Vianney. So, um, today we will conclude our um, tutorial vestment uh, showings. This is the last one. The one other one, a white one with a big red cross, is kind of a utility one. But this, this is a nice one. This is one of my favorites. And, um, you know, when I die, Father Edwards has to address me. You make sure he puts this one on me in the casket, okay? Because if you don't, I'll come back to haunt you. Okay? <laughs> All right, enough about vestments. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask our Blessed Mother and all the angels and saints to help us to know our sins and to be sorry for them. Together the Confidior, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, you made the priest St. John Vianney a wonderful in his pastoral zeal. Grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord said to Moses, These are the festivals of the Lord, which you shall celebrate at the proper time with the sacred assembly. The Passover of the Lord falls on the 14th day of the first month, at the evening twilight. The 15th day of this month is the Lord's Feast of the Unleavened Bread. For seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first of these days you shall hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. On each of the seven days you shall offer an oblation to the Lord. Then on the seventh day you shall again hold a sacred assembly and do no sort of work. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, when you come into the land which I am giving you and reap your harvest, you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest, who shall wave the sheaf before the Lord that it may be acceptable for you. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall do this. Beginning with the day after the Sabbath, the day on which you bring the wave offering sheaf, you shall count seven full weeks and then on the day after the seventh week, the 50th day, you shall present a new cereal offering to the Lord. The 10th of this seventh month is the Day of Atonement, when you shall hold a sacred assembly and mortify yourselves and offer an oblation to the Lord. The 15th day of this seventh month is the Lord's Feast of Boots, which shall continue for seven days. On the first day, you shall hold a sacred assembly, and you shall do no sort of work. For seven days, you shall offer an oblation to the Lord, and on the eighth day, you shall again hold a sacred assembly and offer an oblation to the Lord. 
On the solemn closing, you shall do no sort of work. These, therefore, are the festivals of the Lord, on which you shall proclaim a sacred assembly, an offering, and offer as an oblation to the Lord burnt offerings and cereal offerings, sacrifices and libations, as prescribed for each day. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Sing with joy to God our help. Sing with joy to God our help. Take up a medley and sound a timbrel, the pleasant harp and the lyre. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on our solemn feast. Sing with joy to God our help. For it is a statute in Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob, who made it a decree to jo for Joseph when he came forth from the land of Egypt. Sing with joy to God our help. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship any alien God. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. Sing with joy to God our help. remains forever. This is the word that has been proclaimed to you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in the synagogue. They were astonished and said, where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all of this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, I have to correct myself. I have two more green vestments, very nice ones, that we'll probably wear next week, as you can see them. And they belong to you now. This does not belong to you. This is on loan, okay? Until I kick the bucket. <laughs> okay. Today we uh, honor St. John Marie Vianney, the, par the patron saint of parish priests. And his story is very interesting. He was not very intelligent in the seminary, in his training for the priesthood. And the bishops were very uh, cautious about ordaining him as a priest, but they needed priests in France, particularly in the very distant country of Ars, in, in that section of France. Uh, there is no priest land, and they needed a priest there. So they said, we will ordain John a priest but with the stipulation, he cannot hear confessions. They thought he was too dumb to hear confessions and to give spiritual advice and guidance. He could preach, but he couldn't hear confessions. 
Well, when he was appointed to ours, he showed his sanctity as a priest, and God intervened in his behalf. Not only were his homilies spectacular, moving people's hearts and souls and minds, that finally the bishops gave in and said, you now have the faculty to hear confessions. In the wintertime, he would sit in his confessional for 11 hours straight and hear people's confessions. Wasn't sitting there all alone with nobody coming in. Uh, lines and lines and lines of people. In the summertime, 16 hours, he sat in the confessional and heard people's confessions. Not only people's, but priests, bishops, cardinals, and I believe even a couple of popes. They all came to him for spiritual advice and guidance. The priest who was too dumb to be given the faculty to hear confessions. Well, doesn't God produce miracles with us? how God intervened in the life of St. John and made him the great saint that he is, the great spiritual guide, the great confessor, the great homilist, the great celebrator of the Eucharist, the great priest. So much so that the church honored him by giving him the title as the patron saint of parish priests. All of us dumb priests look to St. John for guidance in our ministries today. And look what happened to Jesus in the gospel. He was rejected like John was by his own people. Yet God intervened in the ministry of Jesus and he performed miracles and he performed uh, he preached and he brought people to the new way of life that was his ministry and he even sacrificed that life on the wood of the cross so that you and I and all peoples of the world can have the opportunity for salvation. God works many miracles in the life of Jesus, his son, and in the life of people like St. John Vianney, and go tell it in people like you and me. May I invite you to stand now and uh, Together, let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers our prayers. The response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may place the supreme value on seeking the reign of God and utilize all our talents to deepen our relationship with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of government, that God will break through the mistrust that has developed and guide them in developing effective laws. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who ask us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Tim McGurin, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us ask the great St. John Marie Vianney that he help us in our spiritual lives to retain the closeness to the Lord that he himself experienced in his life here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, who accompanies us on our way. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and Jesus. blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. mystery of this water and wine may become to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbles himself to share in our humanity. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. And blessed you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray the hearts of St. John, that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Our good all is holy truth. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar, commemoration of St. John Marie Briani, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confessions of St. John and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage and their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
Joseph, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the, rise, of the rise, hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted spouse, Saint John Marivianne, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with the heart of a saint as Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. And protect us all from this distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. So the Lord be with you always. Let us happily share that peace with one another. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Enter into my room. Only say the word. Soul shall be healed.
This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high, and all who celebrate the feast day of St. John Marie Vianney, and that we may persevere in integrity, the gifts of faith, and walk in the path of salvation you have traced for us, through Christ our Lord. Uh, not to seem morbid, but just to give you a little heads up before I give you the blessing and dismissal. Uh, all of you know that uh, Mary Johnson passed away, and uh, I was—I live at Mulberry Tower, and I've lived there for the last 28 years. And for mo many of those years, I was principal caregiver to Mary. And now that she has passed away, I'm by myself, and as my health began to deteriorate, I'm going to move to the Villa St. Joseph in, on uh, Greenbridge Street with the retired priests. Uh, there they take care of you, they, they, they feed you, you know, food, and uh, they wash your clothes and clean your room and do all of that, which I'm not able to do anymore. So um, just a heads up that you know I'm going to be moving right after um, uh, Labor Day. They'll have the room ready for me at that, in that particular time, and I'll spend a little, my last days with uh, the priests. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, let us go in peace. Have a nice day, everybody.